Good day, folks. Just uh, an update on my um, new generator coil here, and still noticing some interesting effects that I'd like to share with you as I progress and experiment with this. So, as I was saying in the last video, my next step, which I still haven't tried yet, is try two different ground points between the rectified output and the core instead of just setting it directly against the core as much as it works pretty good as you saw when I turned on the trigger there it really worked but I noticed something here that um, this thing for some reason which I pretty well understand to a crude point is a very good magnetic it induces very well and with that said um, the it's pretty good as an ambient um, collector as well so as you see on my meter, I noticed this once I turned everything off and disconnected all inputs. I was getting about 0.6 of a volt. So I figured, you know, it, the, it seems to be so sensitive that it's triggering a kind of difference between the core and the loop just from the ambient driving it. So that's very good. So then I decided, well, if I make an antenna out of the ground to change the ground potential, so for now, if I just touch it, I'll, I'll, I'll show you that what happens here. I'm just going to squeeze this real hard. And look how we get quite a bit of voltage here. And again, no, no smoothing capacitor. So, But it's just to show you 3.7 all of a sudden. So this is really good just by changing the ground potential using my body as a better ground does this effect. Remember, I'm not doing anything. This is all driven by the ambient here. So I'm going to stop touching it again. So with that said, I wondered what it would do with a real ground. So I tried it with the earth ground using our um, electric, and I got pretty good. I wasn't going to tell you right away there, but I was so surprised I figured it might have been an error in the wiring or something. So I tried it with a phone line instead, and I got the same reading. So I'm going to show you here. I got the wire for convenience, which I can connect the ground here, right into the center pin. So we're going to ground it to the earth ground of the, I don't know how I can do this with one finger here. Did I get Yeah, I got it. It's in there now. And look what happens to my voltage all of a sudden. It flickers a lot, and if I touch the coil, and you can see it's doing something. Now this is very good because this is about the voltage I was getting when I was turning it on yesterday. So now let's see if this could be used as a sort of constructive interference to enhance it while we turn the trigger back on at 1% duty cycle. I'm going to turn it on, check out the voltage. That made a big difference, didn't it? We're almost getting 60. Of course it varies a lot because it's the tuning and everything that 60. See when I touch it? But this is really pushing it for what we're putting in the input, folks. So just keeping you up to date with the progress, I hope you enjoy.